Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back every day. Today's a relaxing day at home with a little bit of unboxing from some awesome stuff in the mail, a little bit of hangout, a little bit of movie action, a little bit of just like snuggliness. Look at these two. My two favorite girls in the whole world. Relaxing number one. Relaxing number two. We are having a cozy day. And we even interviewed a pediatrician today. We got another one tomorrow. Yes. Um, but we just need a day at home. We went go, go, go. Yeah, we got a busy weekend ahead of us, too. I want to show you guys some things that have come on Netflix. I feel like, I don't know if it was because we didn't watch TV for like four days with our family in town, but this thing called The Playbook is on Netflix. Watch a little bit of that. That looks good. Somebody Feed Phil announced he's coming out a new season at the end of October. Um, this Kiss the Ground about carbon dioxide looks like a good documentary. What else was there? There was um, The Invisible Man is on HBO Max. We gotta watch that. Oh, and The Chef Show has a whole new season. I think I'm gonna spend the next two and a half hours watching this. Wait, and how could I forget Enola Holmes posted on, on Netflix too. And Eve's hungry. Okay, look at this. Look at these delicious cheeseburgers. It has been like two and hours. I think this is the last episode of this season. Oh no, we didn't watch them all? There was only five episodes. Oh gosh. We gotta show you guys what we got. Alrighty. Um, Peter is on his run now. Um, we've kind of talked about it before, but we were really in vacation mode with our visitors in town, and it was really like the last big benchmark before James arrives. And so now we're like, today we like kind of took today to rest, but like we really are gonna like get things situated. This wall here, we have artwork that we're gonna buy, um, which I'm excited. I think you guys are going to like what we've chosen. I don't think I've mentioned it before. Um, a lot of like just little things that are really going to piece together the rest of the nursery and also just feel good to have around the house. Um, some deep cleaning we're going to do, some just like overall nesting and even more so now that we know he's a good size, um, we could potentially have a C-section before our due date. Basically, you know, it's, it's probably going to be less than five weeks until um, we really have to be ready for him, which is awesome and crazy and exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to share all that with you guys as we go, get some artwork, get some more just like personalization in this room. Um, so of course, we will be sharing all of that with you guys. What I wanted to show while Peter's out is what was in our P.O. box today. Um, because we got some really incredible things from you guys and we just want to show it and say thank you to all of you. It's not the greatest light in here, but it'll do. So first are these little booties from Australia um, from Kate and it's so cute. Like obviously they're adorable, um, but my godmother lived in Australia for a long, long time. Her children actually still live there um, and they got me little Australian booties when I was little so this is really special and now James will have his own thank you Kate I also love this cute little card it has such like diverse group of characters on it Micaiah sent James this super sweet overalls guys like I am such a sucker for overalls this is awesome I can just see him in Animal Kingdom wearing these so so cute thank you Micaiah these two are from Lisa and they are so so cute I seriously wish this yellow hoodie was in my size I love it so much I love the sketching sketch style for both of them thank you so much Lisa and Minori got me this little book from Sugar Boo so stinking cute and then our third little Mickey Mouse stroller attachment silicone spoons I love that it has a case that way we can, you know, take some on the go, um, but then we'll have these at home. Um, and this really nice pacifier clip, 
so stinking cute. Thank you so much, Minori. So thoughtful. This book is from Kristen. I don't know a book that is more Peter and I than this book is, Christmas and Chicago. That was so thoughtful of you, Kristen. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So for the grand finale is this awesome gift from our friend Sammy. Such a surprise, the Nutribullet baby. You guys know we've been trying, obviously we've had kind of a crazy week, but we're trying to go towards, you know, um, just whole foods and we're gonna be that same way with James and with all our future kids. And this is just such a nice set. My like favorite thing is that these little storage containers, like can you see it has like a little number in that hole. Um, that way you can mark like when you made the food, which is so smart and just really thoughtful, really cool. So excited to be able to use this when James transitions to food. Hold on, let me see what, what Evie needs. She's been guarding the door since Peter's been gone, so I think she's just antsy for his return. She also got us this book with some recipes, some sweet stickers for milestones, um, some really cute little outfits. Love, love, love the Baby Yoda um, shirt. And then some super cute bibs. Love the little veggies. So stinking cute. Thank you, Sammy. And thank you everybody who has ever sent us anything, especially now for James. Um, we do our best to always show what we get, but sometimes it is tricky in the car and traveling and Peter just being there um, and whatnot. So we know we don't always show everything, but just know that every single time that we open up our P.O. box and there's something in there that we are just so grateful and in awe of the kindness that you guys have always showed us. It means so much to us. I'm super out of breath now. I'm gonna chill until Peter gets home. And yeah, that's that. So, with my family down here, they were down here five days, and I think I ran, I ran the day they got here, and then I ran one other day while they were here. I'm really happy I ran that one day. I wish I would have run more, but guess what? You just gotta own it. You gotta do what you do, get out there and get the miles. So I knew going into today, that today's run, six miles was gonna be rough. You guys saw, we haven't been eating 100% plant-based. We've been eating more than we usually do. We've been eating out significantly more than we usually do. I drank more beer this past week than I do on average and did less running. Did plenty of park walking though, but I'll said it a million times. I'm gonna continue to say it forever. It's not about the speed or even the distance. It's about going out and getting some time on your feet. So that's why today's run, getting the six miles in, I'm not even worried about the time. I think I'm averaging a minute and a half, 90 to 120 seconds slower a mile than I was last week. But hey, it's, I'm coming off vacation with my family and I would rather enjoy that and take this slow run than not. So go out there, get some time on those feet. And Sarah and I have some plans cooking for running events um, in regards to American Cancer Society. We had a call with our friend Kyra, who's our coordinator for World Marathon, but we'll bring that up at a later time. But I've not procrastinated this break long enough. Now time to go finish my very humid, sweaty run, but it feels good. Wait a minute. That's late. We fell asleep on the couch. It's September 24th. Ooh, today's is just Buddha. Like the moon, come out from behind the clouds. Shine. So yes, it's late, but I probably could say an hour and a half ago is when we fell asleep on the couch. So I'm going to wake up Sarah and Eve and we're going to get to bed. And uh, tomorrow's the start of the weekend. Can't wait. It's good to be home.
We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>